work, bro. And now I'm regurgitating it to people who find themselves not spending all their time wisely like they were supposed to be doing down here. Instead, they got caught up in the matrix. That's why all of y'all are chasing money because you're caught up in the matrix. The matrix is telling you money, 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 money. The money, the matrix has manipulated what men want the most, these women, into wanting nothing but money, money, money. That's why the real women out here, the real goddesses are all asleep because they're all chasing money. Ain't no, no goddess out here in their higher mind. Ain't no goddess out here leading her people. You don't see a, a woman leader anywhere leading her people. But you see a bunch of men leading their people. Because the woman, the one who needs to be on top in, for, in, in order for this whole system to work, she's at her lowest, bro. She wearing high heels. She don't even ground her feet to the ground no more. She wearing high heels. She, she, wearing, she wearing fake ass shoes that lift her from the ground where she can be connected to Mother Earth who she's named after and designed after. All brought to you by these suit and tie dudes. This is what we got going on out here, people. This is what we got going on out here, bro. And this is why it's so important to be studying and not doing all this other stuff. Let me explain something to you guys real quick. Most people that come and watch our videos in the retention community are what we call NPCs, bro. Okay? Let me tell you about what these NPCs act like. These are the people that never study, that never have anything to contribute to the conversation. Okay? Never will take a leadership role. Always the ones that are going to be constantly relapsing constantly having these messed up lives, constantly being in depressed, constantly believing what they're told because they've been programmed because they're NPCs. They're robotic. This is what they are, bro. And these people believe every single thing that they have heard instead of doing your own research. Let me let me show you the slightest example of doing your own research and how people don't take it seriously, bro. Here, here's the deal. You will not eat something that's that's bad for you. You will not drink something that's bad for you. But yet you will do the research on something that small, right? But you won't do the research on who taught you about your religion. Who taught you on your belief system. Everything that you believe was taught to you by a person in a suit and a tie. Go look if you think I'm playing. Go look. Everything, bro, was taught to you was by a dude in a suit. Go look. Go look. Leave the video right now and go look. What happened to all the real natural leaders? Where are the Buddhas? Where are the Buddhas? Before all this fake religion came in and stole the shine from the shine from Buddha and all these monks. Where are all those people, bro? We know what happened to those people. Those people got taken out, bro. Those people got put into slavery, bro. Those people's records that they left behind got stuffed in a place that we know is called the Vatican and other places like that. And they've given us these false people that look like the image of them. This is what they've done to us, bro. You have to understand that being down here in this soul body, bro, your journey, your objective, your mission to be fulfilled in this life is to feel this big ass dome that you got on top of your head 
with all the information that you possibly could in this lifetime. Because that information is going to help you navigate no matter where you go, even after this life. This is just a body. This is just a meat suit, bro. You are a soul. You are a light being. You have no sex at the core. You are just the spirit. We have all been here many, many, many times, bro. All of us have been here. We're in a reincarnation cycle. That's what we're in. We're caught up in a reincarnation cycle because of our sins, our imperfections. We've left this life plenty of times, gotten up to that, what we want to call heaven, that light, the white light that they tell you not to walk into, and we'll get into that later. That white light, bro, that we walk into and become recycled. Because what happens when you walk through that bright light? That entrance. You're shown your life. And this is when you become pure again. So guess what? That, that ego right now that's watching this video that's critiquing me and criticizing me for coming on here and having the gall to educate people. Try to ease people's mind try to help people escape from this cage reality that they got over their brain and they can't use it the way it's really supposed to be used. This is a supercomputer right here. You have a supercomputer. They get technology from you. Where do you think a hard drive and memory comes from and how much they can store? You have that same capacity in your brain. That is what kind of people we are. So we're supposed to be down here fulfilling that. So when we do transcend and we are shown our reality, we choose to move on. We choose to evolve. We choose to go anywhere we want in this huge, abundant universe. When they've showed us that our little planet is but a speck of dust in the blackness of the void of nothing. Imagine all the other places you go, your soul, because this is just a meat suit. This is why you should never judge anybody on the way they look. You shouldn't let your eyes mislead you. Your eyes can get you into trouble because your eyes are only doing the pleasury sensory. Your eyes are not reading the character of people. And this is why so many people on this world, bro, have ran into problems. They, they, they're not finding their soulmates because they're leading with their eyes. And it's destroying them, bro. We, as soul beings, bro, okay, have the ability to reincarnate anywhere we want based on our energy levels, all right, and our progress in our journey of life. You've heard Earth been called a school. Where do, where do you think they get the word school from? Because Earth is really just that. It's school. This is what we're here for. We're here to learn. But these distractions, what they end up doing is they hold you back from graduating. They hold you back in school. They hold you back from ascending. Thus creating a karmic cycle. And when you're shown the end of your life, like any soul because we're all the same we're all connected we're all pure at heart like any soul when we drop this meat suit and the ego dies with it we go to see our life and when we're viewing our life 
We see all the mean stuff that we did to people. We've seen all the hurtful things that we did to people. This is the truth. And you want to come back and fix it. Maybe you left on bad terms. Maybe you left when you and your loved one were fighting and they went out that door and they never came back that day. Maybe you lost somebody special. Maybe you lived a horrible life and you end up taking your own life. And you saw all the people that cared about you and how they felt. You see all of that. And you're going to sit here and try to tell me in your imperfect form, your ego that's watching this video right now, your ego is disagreeing with me. When you drop that form, you are back at one. You are pure like a child. You know of nothing. And this is where you are conditioned by society, by these fake religions, because they know the cycle. They keep you coming back here and keep you miserable. This is this place here, okay, is an energy harvesting factory. You shouldn't be having children. You shouldn't be doing any of this thing. All the children are going to go through the same things as you going through. That's pretty damn selfish if you ask me. You're going to take the risk of bringing the better half of you here to this planet with all of this stuff going on where at any given day your loved one could, could go outside and never come back because of how radical this world is. And you take that chance every single time that you decide to indulge in your lower self and not use your higher thought to see, foresee what is your future. But instead, people are down here, like I said, caught up in the matrix, the drugs, the music, the radical sexualized world. How do you think someone's gonna think smart? That's like giving a broke person a whole bunch of millions of dollars at one time, and that broke person never knew how to treat people, how to save money how to invest. How do you think that's going to turn out? This is the way life is. And when you get to a certain point in your life, like me, who is spiritually in the know, I've been on my spirituality, bro, for over a decade. Go check my receipts full plant-based diet for seven plus years, fasting, cleaning out my body. I didn't have a parasite in me, I promise you that, because I wasn't eating anything that caused that in my body. And when you do that, you be, go on your spiritual journey. Ask anybody who's gone on their spiritual journey how it started. It started with them cleaning out their body and eating a pure diet and having pure thoughts. So anybody that has not done that, bro, is not going to be able to perceive this world they, they, in the way that they need to succeed. Everything that was taught to you was taught to you by a person in a suit and a tie. And if you look at the old model on that word, it says you cannot trust any man in a suit and a tie. And all I know is at the end of the day, there is some kind of corrupt men in this world that are keeping us from living our true happiness because of this system. And everything that I've explained to you about this system is in fact the truth. We are in an age where people are waking up and evolving. And if you want to be on my train, bro, you want to be on my train, bro, then this is where you're going to have to go. And this isn't for everybody. Because as I said, there are way too many NPCs, bro, 
way too many NPCs out here, bro. These are the people that I just told you that will never get it. These are the people who watch content just to watch content. They never add anything to themselves or the value of what is being spoke about. These are the trolls. These are the people who will never change their lives. These are the people who never take challenges. These are the people, bro, who are in their lower nature and they're everywhere down here. So this is why it's very hard to find groups of people who are all on the same page, who all know the same information, who are all on the same train. The chosen ones are spread out. They're spread out. It's very rare you see a whole bunch of chosen ones kicking it together. You don't ever, you don't ever see that. Only where you see that is usually on the internet where they're doing live streams with each other. Why do you think that is? It's like that so we can reach as many people as possible. Try to save as many souls as we can from coming back to this life over and over and over again. Because guess what, guys? We can't all fully ascend to our higher selves because we are all of one. We're all of the same energy. We can't ascend to our, our to our absolute highest in this world without letting all the souls down here who are supposed to get out of here get out of here. This is that this is some deep, okay? This is why it's more important for you to work on yourself. Don't worry about everybody else. Work on yourself. And eventually what ends up happening is you become one of these chosen people. Thus beginning your journey, okay, of teaching these younger souls, older souls, stuck souls on how to ascend. This is why you come back down here and you have it hard as a chosen one, bro. You have it hard. Life is always hard for a chosen one. So if I ever hear somebody saying they're chosen, I know you're lying, especially if you live a good life. Chosen ones are down here in a negative environment and they are a light. And every time someone sees this light of the darkness, they try to dim that light by any means necessary, bro. This is what you have to understand, bro, about being someone who is chosen. It's not all cream and cookies. It's a very hard life, bro. Most of the time you're alone. Most of the time people don't understand you. Most of the time you do things that people look at is out of the norm. And they might look at you like you're a weird person because you have the strength to do things that other people cannot do. But this is your path to being whoever. You gotta understand what I'm saying here too, okay? You gotta really think about what I'm saying here. To be whoever you wanna be. If you wanna come back and reincarnate as a, a king on the land, you will be able to do that because you are down here when everything is against you saving souls bro that's what chosen ones do we wake people up that's saving souls that's creating karma for us good karma the one the karma that we want bro And this is why it's such the hardest position because you're gonna get the most. And that's why I choose. That's why I choose to be a chosen one. Because I know this life down here is so short compared to what I'm about to live. There'll be no reincarnating for me. Not this time. 
most of us don't make it to this. And it doesn't mean you're a bad person. What it means is one day, one day we all gonna be chosen ones. Because in order for us to, I told you, as to evolve as the human race, we have to go with every single soul that was created. That's the way this works. And this is why we are now waking up in 2024. People all over the internet are preaching the same message that I preached. And guess what? And guess what? I didn't even have to study for it. I told you what happens. I told you what happens. You get tapped in and you know what we're supposed to be doing because you are no longer programmed. Your, your body is clean. You're actually having communication with the most high. This is how you do it. But like I said, most of the people out here, these NPCs, bro, going around, knocking on people's door, putting witchcraft and spells on people, getting them to believe things that they believe instead of letting those people go out and go and experience life and figure out the truth for themselves. Nobody does that, bro. Nobody does that. Everybody listens. That's why it's called a television. It tells lies to your vision. Everybody believes everything that comes from something that is shaped like a box. And anytime you believe stuff from things that are shaped like a box, guess what? Now you're squared off and your mind is in that box. And there's no way out of a box because you're boxed in. You have to learn and you will eventually learn because no matter what happens no matter how many lifetimes we live over and 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 over again okay you will eventually get it you will eventually be a chosen one you will eventually just wake up out of the funk and yourself will be able to ascend. Yourself will be clean enough. Yourself will be pure enough to go meet the most high, to be in the heavens, if that's where you want to call it. But this is how this place works, bro. And this is why when you wake up to the realization on how everybody's living down here, you understand that there's no love down here. The only love that you're going to get. And if some of you were unfortunate, I am sorry from the bottom of my heart. But the only love you're going to really get in this world, and I mean this from my soul. The only kind of love you're going to get down here, bro, is the love of your mother to you when you were first born. Everybody else down here, bro, has an objective. They're here to use you. They're here to abuse you. They're here to lie to you. Because why? Not because of their bad people. Uh-uh. It's not because of their bad people, bro. It's because the construct of this matrix down here. I told you how, how they created it. The man in the suit and tie made it. And everybody now has to look for money, fake paper that has no value. And people are selling out for it. And the funny part is, bro, you don't even have to sell your soul like these music, you know, industry people or these movie stars or anybody that's, in, you know, famous. You sell yourself out down here, falling into the system, believing that you need to be with someone to take care of yourself, to progress in life, to be happy for money. 
And you don't understand that you lose twice. You lose twice in one fight, bro. You lose yourself, bro. And you sell yourself for money. But I, like I said, there you will never figure this out if you're not retaining your sexual energy and your body's not cleaned out. Point blank period. You're just a goof troop. And I will never have any, you will never have be able to have an intellectual conversation with me because I'm just too deep for you. You're a goof troop. You have to really take life seriously. There are many more people like me all over this world. I'm not the only one. I'm just doing my job. I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm trying to help you. Continue. Continue to let these NPCs be NPCs. Continue to let this matrix fall out, apart all around you. If you walk in this higher path, you have nothing to worry about. You don't have to be scared about nothing. You're good, bro. You sleep good. You dream good. Because you are good. And that means when it's your time to get out of here, you're going to know what decision to make. You're not going to be like the vast majority. You're not going to keep coming back to a place that gets worse and worse and worse as we go. Think about it. This is how you escape, people. I'm not trying to tell you you can't be intimate anymore with people. I'm not trying to tell you you can't go be with somebody and have fun anymore. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is when you get this far, you understand that every single time you do something like that and it's meaningless. It's meaningless. And you know what I mean by meaningless. By letting your hormones get out of control, which... There's big major problems why your hormones get out of control because it's all in the food. They want you to be like this. They want you to be like this. We're not animals. We're not like this by nature. This is all a part of why everything down here is a complete S-H-I-T hole. Because when you do that, now you've just opened yourself up for all kind of problems, bro. From possession of other entities, lower vibrational frequencies, to complete devastation of your health because what it does to your nervous system and how it depletes your minerals from your body, it kills you men and women alike it is no joke every single time you're doing that but again you have to learn i told you a hard head makes a soft behind that's what my mama used to tell me and you know what that means that means you're going to keep bumping your damn head until you figure it out and every time bro you have people that come to you just like this, give you the message, and you let it go on one ear and out the other, and you never take any steps towards progressing. So you would be an NPC. You are now programmed by the Matrix. You're an Agent Smith, bro. What did Neo do? Didn't Neo only save a handful of people? And the rest of y'all was NPCs? Because Neo came in the flesh and he told you what was up, but you didn't believe him. This is the world you live in, man. And every single day you are making a decision further either getting you out of the situation you're in or putting you in deeper in the situation that you're in. All because of the man in the suit and tie system mm -hmm. made you lose your ways yourself. You forgot who you are and now you've devolved backwards. And it's going to be a long way 
It's gonna be a long way. It's gonna be a lot of hard work, bro. No cap. It's gonna be a lot of hard work for you, bro, to free yourself. You're stuck here. Your energy is stuck here. You believe in the system. You give energy to the system. So that means if your life were just to end, guess what you're going to be doing again? And ask me this, or answer my question to this. Has this world not got worse every single year it goes by? Isn't everything in our future supposed to be about no less population? I think I don't have to make nothing up. Everything that they said about our future is going to be less populated. Look it up. A radical cut in population. Birth rates have stopped. People are not being intimate anymore. Why? Because, like I said, everyone's bought into the system. The system has tore them apart. The system has took, taken everything from them. Bro, I could go so deep into so many different topics would make you want to throw up, but I think YouTube would block it. From everything that they use from you, they use everything from you. They use everything. Even your sexual energy exchange that you do at home in your own house with your own lover in private, they use that energy. And when I tell y'all, bro, that you have no idea to the level of how these people operate and why you live in squared rooms, boxed rooms. I told you what happens when you, you're in you're in a box. It's there's no coincidence that everything is in squares. But again, that's a whole nother video, bro. That's a whole nother video. This is the life that you live. And you think that you're just gonna have all the answers, huh? huh? You really think you're just going to have all that? You really think that you are doing super right now in the game of life? If you're not on this path that I'm talking about right now. Just when you think you know what you know, you don't know. I don't... Bro, let me let me let me explain something to you real quick and I'm about to go in here to my movie. Just because you were born from your mother and your father does not mean that they are smarter than you. Does not mean anything. Your soul has been you you guys have been here so many times. You've been here over and over and over again. You could be older than your parents. And I really mean that. So there shouldn't be anything holding you back, not giving you confidence, not being able to trust in yourself and understand that you could be teaching your family so you could break the generational curses. We have one in every single family. Most of us haven't woke up, bro. There's one in every family. This is the seed. This is the black sheep. This is the golden child. There's one in every family. And they look, and all the people in their family look at them like they don't know what they're talking about. But none of their people in their family could come up here, give out the information that I've given out off the top of my head with no book, with no research. Be able to hold people because of the vibration from his voice because that's the only thing that's keeping you here is the vibration from my voice and be able to make change in other people that's a superpower that's a chosen one and like I said people in your own family bro think you're powerless and none of them can do what you do none of them brings information like you do 
when you're a chosen one, the life is hard until you, until the end, until you get out of here. That's just a, a way it works as for a chosen one, bro. It's just the way it works. But like I said, you get rewarded bigger than anybody else because you're down here doing the work and you could be a chosen one too. You, I told you all of us are. There's millions and millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of people. And what do you think the chosen one are down here doing? They're helping people wake up. So you're trying to sit here and try to tell me that out of all the chosen people, that the chosen people would just cease to exist after only helping so many people? No, the chosen ones are going to keep coming down here, keep being recorded until every soul ascends. It's the way it works. And this is why we go so hard. This is why we are begging you because we want everybody to be on a level on where they can make real decisions from up here, real decisions without having their lower chakra, men, their growing area, women, their growing area, their intimacy. When you stop thinking from that level and you start thinking from a higher level and you take intimacy out, guess what? You're not even worried about the opposite sex at this point. So now where is your focus? Where's your focus? Where are you losing that energy that's going to align you with these frequencies? Where where are you losing the energy? You're not. And that energy keeps building and it keeps building and it keeps building. It creates new pathways in the brain. We've already talked about this. Bro, you don't understand the ability that everybody has. It's not just men. There should be something called women retention too. But again, I don't see any woman leaders because all the woman leaders are still following what the man in the suit and tie agenda is. Money, 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 money. Bro, imagine this. You selling yourself for money. This is what they're doing, bro. Bro, I know so many girls who are married, right? I know they ain't happy. Girl, you can sit up here and lie through the screen all you want. Again, that just shows you where you're at in your journey. That the fact that you have to lie and know that I'm not sitting here telling the truth. I see so many girls that are married, bro, that don't even want to be married. And then you look at the guy on who they're married to and you start asking yourself questions. Then you find out on what kind of money the guy makes. And it all makes sense. It all comes to light. There used to be a time, bro, where women, the true goddesses, bro, would not give men play. You know how hard it used to be? And, 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 and times before society came around, I'm talking about like times early man. You know how hard it was, bro, for men to have open connection with women like that and have access to that and how the man in the suit and tie came up with a plan on how he could pass his nasty ass genetics on you know I'm talking the truth because you look at these men who are able to pass their genetics on based on a system that they created and set up made the rules of the game imagine that you're in a game bro where you didn't even choose to be in the game and there's already rules to the game you're always going to be in the same position or you're going to be fighting just like everybody else selling their souls stepping over each other trying to achieve this fake status this fake happiness in a world that is created bro it was created you, it, bro there's no way you can tell me this was created down here to be perfect it was created as a test and everybody has failed 
at one point or another until they wake up. Bro, I will, I've seen it so many times, as I said, like our goddesses, do they falling in the trap. They've now given their bodies up for money. <laughs> Nobody understands anymore because that's all they needed to do was put it on TV, put it in the music, mess with the hormones in your food. And you've lost yourself. You are no gods. Gods don't act like that. You wouldn't be doing that stuff in front of Christ. You wouldn't be doing that stuff in front of the Most High. You wouldn't be sagging your pants. You wouldn't be acting gangster. You wouldn't be walking around with your cleavage all out. You wouldn't be walking around with pants with no panties on. You wouldn't be beating your meat to freaking pornography on, on, on the internet. But this is how radical they got you, bro. You have lost yourself. You know you have. Everybody has. But I told you, it's not, none of this is going to get fixed, bro, until the women figure out and remember who the hell they are. They are the goddesses. They are, to, they are protectors of the sacred porthole in which how this world has now been polluted. Yes, most of the time it wasn't voluntary because we know the history of early man and his nefarious ways on how he controlled and conquered to be able to create this matrix that he wanted. We don't abide by these rules. We just have to do them because if we don't, we get punished by the rules of the game. I'm going to go, guys. That's all I want to say, man. You got There's too much for you to think about right now. Okay? Like I said, I shouldn't even be talking like this because, like I said, y'all, most of y'all are NPCs. None of y'all are golden childs. None of y'all are the black sheeps. Because if you did, you would understand what I'm saying. You would understand what I'm saying 100%. If you were retaining your sexual life force energy, you would understand what I'm saying 100%. If your body was cleaned out from parasites, you would understand. People don't even understand that parasites are an alien entity. These bugs in your body that we get from an unnatural diet that we've been fed. And people don't even want to take that seriously. Y'all are NPCs. You're bots. Because that's one of the first steps that you're going to have to take to be able to unlock this big ass dome up here. Bro, I can't remember the movie. I think it was Men in Black. Men in Black showed you truth in plain sight. Many other movies have, but there was this scene in Men in Black that shows you the truth in plain sight. What happens in Men in Black when they finally catch one of those uh, older guys and they get him in that operating room and they end up opening his brain and what was inside of his brain? It was a little parasitic, like little alien-like type worm man, right? This is the same thing, bro, of what we got that is helping us be the best version. It's helping us be able to use our brain. It's helping us be able to give us the motivation and the drive. These things are sucking our energy. These things can make you eat certain foods. These things can um, make you uh, feel certain urges. These things can control your sexual organs, especially when you're polluting your body with alcohol, drugs. Bro, there's so much to learn, okay? There's so much to learn, bro, all right? And you guys really really bro really should be taking life serious right now there's a lot of stuff going on man and if i were you i'd want to have this thing up here working as sharp as possible right now during these times because one little mistake in a world like we live in today could be your last all right we're seeing some crazy stuff happening right now and i just want people to be up here bro in the head thinking sharp bro Hell yeah, Brandon. Brandon said, I'm celebrating my 10th year of no alcohol. Hey, congratulations, brother. 
Hey Brandon, could you add could you add some um, could you add some value to my conversation, please? Because does alcohol does it or does it not make you do things that you normally would not do? Does it not make you live in your lower chakra? Do you not get angry? Do you not get irritable? Do you not want to jump on anything that you see that arouses your through your arouses yourself through your eyes? Okay. I know it did. I've dated women who were alcoholics, all right? And it ruined our relationship, okay? Because like I said, man, you gotta think about all these considering, these considered factors factors that we have that's affecting us, you know, our higher selves to make the smart decision. Bro, just from the fact, just for the fact, like I said, just for the fact that our women, bro, are down here allowing these low grade terrible genetic men pass their dna on because of money that right there alone man That says it all to me. That, that lets me know where I live, you know. And I'm not at the point where I'm saying, like, that's something that I need. But if I ever wanted to consider that, to know that I would have to leave this place to even have a legitimate shot at that. I'm not even saying that's even legitimate because, you know, this type of stuff is being spread like a virus all through the world. But to know as a man here, what is your objective as a man to live here in the United States? What are you thinking? There's nothing here for you. The only thing that you should be doing here is becoming the most ultimate person that you could become, bro. You could easily take your sexual energy, understand that everything out here, I don't care how bad it is for you, learn how to control it. All you have to do is say no to all of this. Imagine how free you would be. Imagine how much energy you would have, bro. I can't, you can't even imagine because you've never been there. You've never been close. This is creative spark sexual energy bro creative energy you'll be able to create anything wherever you go that's what you're supposed to be doing here you're supposed to be busting your ass to become the most ultimate person whether that's you know how whatever you want because when you get to this level money comes with that so you're not even, you're not going to be chasing money. You're just going to you're going to be such a powerful iconic person, bro, that you will now be able to leave this place with all the wealth, all the knowledge, all the discipline that a man could ever need and take that on your journey of life, bro. And be able to have whatever you want that's all you have to do bro that's all the sacrifice you have to make that is all guys a lot to think about and don't just let it just be a live stream don't let it just be me sitting here talking understand try to get on my frequency and see what I'm saying to you and the realization of it. When that clicks on in your brain, you get to look at everything like, what am I doing? What am I doing? Everything that you're doing here is setting you back further and further and further because everything that you're doing, if I'm lying, I'm flying, is created from your lower half is the reason that you're stuck in every single thing that you do not want to be stuck in. Think about it. 
think about it. Everything that got you stuck came from your lower half, your lower red chakra. We all could possibly live in the best of lives, but those mistakes that we made were influenced from our lower red chakra. And of course, we've had all the other stimulants, like I said, that affect that from the foods to the drugs to the alcohol to the, you know, the stuff that they put on TV to the influence in the music to the idolization of, of stars. All that's a factor. And the only thing that you would have to do to break the complete spell over all of this stuff is go celibate and conserve your sexual energy. Men and women alike. Your whole outlook, your whole perception, your whole view will come to life just like that. Just like that. And you'll wake up out of the fog and everybody else, bro, is still going to continue to bump their head until they get it. Thank you.